It all kicked off after the final whistle of West Ham versus AZ Alkmaar. Several West Ham players got involved as Dutch fans invaded the stand with their families in and started throwing punches. One day, a clever, newly mutated gene realized another strategy was possible. If copies of the gene exist in multiple different creatures, the gene can do better by causing the creatures to help each other rather than mercilessly competing with each other. This concept is known as inclusive fitness. The only problem is, the copies of a gene are hidden inside the creatures and they can't see each other. So if the copies of the gene want to help each other, they have to gamble, sometimes helping the competing genes by accident. So the question is, how can a gene strategize around inclusive fitness without the whole plan backfiring? Humans are one big collection of particles. What the particles do is described by the mathematics of the standard model. It's a lot of maths and you need that maths if you want to answer difficult questions like what's going on in LHC collisions. For simple questions like whether free will exists, we don't need to know much about the maths. Relevant is just that 
Ultimately, what you and I do is also described by the standard model. And yes, that means that we know the equations for human behavior. We can write them down. In practice, that's a completely useless statement because we can't solve the equations for all these 10 to the 30 or so particles that humans are made of. Not even the biggest supercomputer in the world could do that. But we don't need to solve the equations to draw conclusions from their properties. For the purposes of this video, the most relevant property of these equations is that they are deterministic, which means that if you know the properties and motions of the particles at one time, you can calculate what happens at any later time.